But uh, we get right into it. Um, and I talk about identifying the grasses that are effective, uh, that are, tend to hold fish better. You know, you got three, primarily you got three types of grass. You got emergent grass, submergent grass, and floating grass. You got all hundreds and hundreds of species of which in all of those, Primarily, your emergent grasses are going to be what's really common around here is tulies. Um, you got lily pads, uh, you know, all kinds of cattails, things like that. Uh, submergent grass, primarily uh, hydrilla. Uh, around here, I haven't seen any hydrilla. I've seen what I believe is milfoil, like a Eurasian milfoil type of grass. Uh, that's what I think it is. It's on swarrow. Um, which a submergent grass grows to the surface and then it quits. It quits growing up. It grows out and that's how it forms those mats that are hard to penetrate with through, you know, that looks like that stuff you can walk across, but there's water under it and there's fish. So, uh, and then you also have uh, floating grass, like what you have in here is hyacinth. I don't know if I've ever seen any hyacinths. Uh, Vu, did we see hyacinth on Havasu? I thought we saw have hyacinth on hyacinth. Maybe I haven't seen any hyacinth here, but it's, it's another type of grass, it's a floating grass. When you have something like that, that just makes it all the better, you know, because you got that hard roof on top of their house. Now, why, why I uh, target grass and why I think, again, everything I say up here tonight is, is what I think, my opinion, my thoughts, my experience, the, the only rule that I know about bass fishing is that there are no rules. That, that's the only rule I know. Um, so everything I share, that's just me. There's no scientific facts behind anything I say. So uh, why bass live and stuff like this? My, my thoughts is, you know, when you have a fish that's out on the end of a point that's uh, on a shallow flat or whatever, you know, and you're out there heaving swim baits or, or dropping jigs or crankbaits or whatever, I think fish that are out in the open kind of scattered or maybe hold close to a stick or two or something, I think those fish tend to uh, be a little weary, a little cautious, uh, and a little less prone to bite if your presentation isn't just absolutely perfect in, in every way, you know. Uh, and especially bigger fish, you know, the, the big fish tend to be hard to come by when they're out in those kind of situations. At least they are for me. So my thoughts is, if I have fish in something like this, you know, especially the big ones, they're in there, they got walls, they got a roof, they're in their house, they feel comfortable. So, you know, when you're at home watching CNN or whatever it is, you feel comfortable, you don't feel threatened. I think that's the same way that the fish in their field. I don't think they know I'm even on the outside of that grass line looking for them. So that's one of the reasons that I think I, I have so much success uh, flipping heavy grass and stuff like that. When I plop a big mega daddy craw or whatever it is I'm fishing in front of their face, they're just they're comfortable, they're opportunistic, and they, they eat it. You know, they jump right on. So those are really the reasons why I uh, think that bass tend to live and migrate towards stuff like this when it is available, um, and, and why that's why I target them there. So, um, 